Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to share you the master skill that you need to uh, master it, right? That you need to know how to just make a plan of action or because it's one of the parts of the goal setting. When you set a goal, you have to have a just action or plan, right? Because goal without action is never achieved, right? So you have to have a good plan of action. So uh, we, within this video, we dive into how to make a plan of action more more good right so your ability to set a goal and just make a plan of, for the accomplishment that is just a master skill your ability to set goals and just make a plan for the accomplishment is the master skill of success right no other skill will help you just more in fulfilling your potential in achieving just everything that you are just able to accomplish right so all major accomplishments today are just multitask job right <laughs> you know so they they consist of a series of steps that must be taken in a particular way in order to accomplish a result of any significance, right? So, even if something as simple as preparing a dish in the kitchen <laughs> with a recipe is a multitask job, right? So, your ability to master the skill of planning and just completing multitask job will enable you to accomplish vast more than most people just and is critical to your success, right? So, the purpose of planning is to enable you to turn your major definite purpose into a planned and multitasked just project with a specific step and beginning uh, middle and right with clear deadlines and sub deadlines and fortunately this is a skill that you can learn and master with practice right this skill will just make you just one of the most effective and influential people in your business or maybe your organization or in your study or any provision or any, any 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 person that you are looking to optimize your best your best work right and the more you practice it the better you will get it right so putting your plan together right so fortunately in the previous uh, we are just seeing the previous video we are just identifying and assemble all the ingredients necessary to create a plan for the achievement of one or more of your goals right because we have seen uh, goal setting videos right in the previous i have already uploaded so you now have a clear vision of your ideal and result or goals based on your values you know what you want and why you want it right you know that and so you have written out your goals and organized them by priority and selected your major definite purpose right so you have also created a measure and standard to track your progress you have set both deadlines and sub deadlines are starting to aim out right so you have just identified the key obstacle difficulties constraints that stands between you and just your goal and organized in them by priorities right so you have just identified the essential just knowledge and skill that you will just require to achieve your goal right and also you have organized these competencies by priority and developed a plan for plan of action to learn what you need to learn to accomplish what you have achieved or what you have just decided to accomplish right and so you have identified the people organization uh, maybe uh, maybe the group whose help and cooperation will just require right both inside and outside your business right you have just decided to, on a specific step you are going to take to earn the support and assistance of the peoples in achieving your goal right Throughout this process, you have just written and taken notes on, so that you you know this process, the raw materials and tools for the creation of plan of action or plan of accomplishment, right? Now you are just ready to put it all together into a plan of action, right? We are just bringing all these ingredients together to make a good action plan, right? So the planning process is essential, right? It's very important, right? So carefully designed and just throw just from beginning to end before they begin right so every minute spent in planning saves 10 minutes in execution every minute that you spend planning and thinking before you begin will save you time money and energy in getting the results you desire this is why it is said that falling is say, this is why it's saying that failing to plan is planning to fail right it is planning saves your time your and also your expense right so the number one reason for failure is action without just planning right people who say that 
they are just too busy to plot in advance must be just prepared for unnecessary mistakes and great losses of time and money and energy right it says that every new business startup is raised against time from this first day the company founder is the formula for success there is 6p formula for personal and just a business success right these are proper prior planning prevents poor performance right so there are just seven advantage to proper prior planning the first one is the planning process focus you to just organize your thinking and just identify all the key issues that must be just dealt with you are ultimately going to be successful right and second thinking through what you must do to accomplish your goal enables you to plan your just action carefully before you begin right the budget saving you enormous cost in time people and money right third goal plan a good plan i truly discussed and evaluated enables you to identify flaws and errors that could be just prove fatal to your business later on right it enables you to ask what if questions for example what are the worst possible thing that could happen if you were to take a particular course of action right so the fourth benefit of proper prior planning is that it enables you to identify weakness in your plan and just make progression or provisions to just compensate for those weakness right often you can just identify fatal flaws that just would lead to failure for enterprise or anything right in your education maybe this is only possible by just going through the planning process right fifth planning enables you to identify strengths and potential opportunities that you can take advantage of increasing in the likelihood of success right so often you will just unaware of your particular strengths or the opportunities that exist in the situation before you go through the planning process right the sixth one is or the sixth benefit of planning is that it enables you to focus your time your money your energy whatever uh, and just to concentrate all of your resources on the one or two objective right that you must just achieve to make an enterprise successful right so in the absence of clear focus and just concentration you will tend to spread your energy your time over wide area and just accomplish very little right and it makes you just more focused right more focused in your energy your time your people whatever right so the seventh benefit of proper prior planning is that it will just inevitably save you hours weeks and months of confusion right mistakes and lose of balls many in energy right generally this planning gives you just a sense of concentration right it helps you to concentrate on the task right and instead of just overing overwhelming yourself with a multitask and accomplishing nothing right you can't get there from here right so in many business or in any case the result of careful planning and just analysis the decision makers will realize that it's not possible right to just achieve part of a goal with a time or resource available or under the existing circumstances right sometimes the very best business deals in your care are the ones that you don't get into the first place right so the vital pl the vital discipline planning is discipline and skill right it's both habit and just a competence right this means that planning is just uh, a skill that you can just master through repetition and practice and it's much easier than you may think right so list every task and activities in simplistic form a plan is a list of every activities that you you will have to engage in right and from the beginning to the end right to accomplish a specific goal or objective you, and also you have to begin the process of planning take a sheet of paper and just make a list of everything that you can think of that you will have to do to achieve your goal right and so as you think just of the new items and add them to the list right if you just think anytime anytime if you think a new goal you can just add to the your list right so you have to continually revisit your list and you have to revise the items and steps as you get just more information right this list which becomes your blueprint for 
the constructions of your dream house, your life, your future, right? Your ideal goal or result, right? That's one you have to determine priority and sequence, right? Whenever you are making a plan of action or goal setting, you have to determine the priority and sequence, right? Right? Now you are to just organize your list by priority and sequence, right? By determining which task is or activity are more important than other tasks or activities, right? You have to organize the items just from number one, the most important and all the way to just the least important, right? And also you have to organize your list by sequence, right? By sequence, right? As well. And sequencing, just you determine which activities need to be done before or after other activities, right? Often just one task maybe just cannot be just accomplished until another task has been just completed, right? Sometimes the accomplishment of a single task can be a bottleneck or a checkpoint or the obstacle in the entire process. You have to be careful enough and you have to identify uh, the power, you have to prioritize and you have to sequence your, your action, right? You have to prioritize, right? And if so, the, the other one is you have to identify the limiting factor, right? The limiting factor, this is very important, right? In planning, just very often the success of plan will just determined by the achievement of a particular goal or objective within the plan, right? It may be just accomplish the construction on just a new office, a store or factory, right? It may be just the date of the delivery of the first finished product or service or the achievement of a particular level of sale, right? It could be just hiring of a key person for an essential job, right? So the planning process helps you to identify the vital element of a plan and to focus more of your time and attention on the most important task, right? And activities that must be accomplished before success is possible, right? You have to identify the limiting factor, the one which is most important, the critical in your work, right? This is very, uh, very important. Uh, the other one is you have to expect failure at first, right? Expect is inviting. Uh, I mean that uh, failure is inviting. That's inviting. That's always happen, right? No plan is perfect. The first time it's just created, right? Most plan to accomplish something new, we just will fail over and over again at the beginning, right? This is to be expected, right? Your ability to accomplish feedback and make a correction to your plan of activity is just vital to your success, right? And you also have to keep asking what is working and what's not working, right? Be more concerned with what's right rather than who is right, right? Remember the old saying, back to the drawing board. Right? Whenever you plan <laughs> does not work, relax. Take a deep breath and just revisit it, right? Revise it. Don't overwhelm, don't stress yourself, right? You have to relax yourself, right? You have to take a deep breath and you have to be just, uh, just use your subconscious mind at the time, right? And so you have to focus on the problem or the solution. The problem or solution that means whenever you are there is a problem you have to focus on the solution right when you have just a problem result to be a solution oriented you have to be a solution oriented person right expect the difficulties as a part of this process and just you have to resolve to respond to them effectively and efficiently right so if you are just not achieving your goal on schedule ask what is the problem what in this is the problem what are the solutions? What else is the solution? What can we do now? What is the next step? You have to like that, yeah? You have to ask those questions, right? It seems that when you are just beginning work to achievement of any goal, your immediate experience, setback, obstacle, difficulty, and temporary failure, right? So this is to be expected. It's normal, it's part of the work, right? It's normal and natural, right? It, it takes tremendous effort to launch something new and make it successful, right? But this is the price that you are going to pay to achieve the goals that you have set for yourself, right? For your future, for your life, right? And also the other most important thing that you have to do is think on paper, right? Always think on paper, continually make a list and just sub-list of every step in every process, 
you have to keep updating and revising your plan making it better and better until it's perfect right and you have to just remember planning is skill planning is skill right because it's a skill it is completely learnable your ability to think plan organize and initiate actions towards your goal will eventually just put you just in the top 10 percent of your field but it's takes time right you have to be patient enough right and one of the <laughs> one of the way that you can think on paper is to create just a project planning sheet for accomplishment of just a multitask goal right in this way you create just a visual image of your goal and just said you just need to take to achieve it right this can be just very helpful in opening your a to the strengths and weakness of the planning process right so whenever you are just doing those, you know your just strength is your weakness, right? So you have to do like that.